Oke okay guys, what's going on? This is Angga Rizky and welcome back to my video. So in this video, I want to show you about breakpoint for SASS language that help you to create a beautiful responsive web design. And breakpoint it's all free and customizable. So you can get the customize of breakpoint and you can create with your own self okay so check it out okay guys so i have prepared the basic html and scss to create a basic navbar like this so this is my source code for html and scss okay and i'm using the cola to help me compile scss to style.css so i click right right here and then I, I set output for my scss and i target it to style.css and replace and click and compile okay so you can watch my another video that that help you to install koala sorry install sa SASS language using Koala. You can check my another video or you can check my YouTube playlist. Well, this is for a uh, basic HTML. You can read down these codes with yourself. You can pause the video, okay? While we next to style.scss and setting up the margin padding is zero because when I try to remove this we have the basic margin okay so I need to make it a margin to zero and padding is zero okay so in the next we have to declare the primary enough to blue you can change it to be red like this but in this case I'm gonna to use blue my favorite color okay now so we go to terminal but the requirement you have to install npm so I have installed not package manager you can watch my another video to help you to create uh, to install the npm so if you have installed the npm you need to install npm sorry sudo npm install g bower we put my password on your password so we installing the bower we are installing the bower for global this is uh, you can see this is a uh, strip g does g this is main uh, global okay we have successfully to install the bower and and then i have create my folder in desktop and the name is belajar so i put my scss right here so i go to cd desktop and instead of desktop i need to install Bower install breakpoint sas okay so we have installed it i need to sorry guess unable to parse okay we with we have error right here so i need to check it okay guys so i have uh, forget about the i am forgot about uh, bower rc so if you have to install the bower you need to create a file to to set location about your bower directory so we go to our directory and double click sorry and click right and then new file and then we can save it to bower rc and okay so we set the path location about directory 
and we, we want to install it to power components we save it and close and go back into your terminal and cd desktop into my project and cd belajar and then power install breakpoint sas oops i have mistake so i need to okay sas power install breakpoint dash sas Okay, you can see Bower chart, Bower validates, and it's installing about the breakpoint this SAS. So we have successfully to install the Bower components. We can see Bower components, and oops, we have error right here. Okay, so we 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 will see the breakpoint SAS and style sheets and breakpoint SCSS. Okay, now we go to style.scss and then we import the bower import bower components and go to breakpoint sas and go to breakpoint we save it and then we have error about this uh, sas so we need to check it Okay, oh uh, sorry. We go to style sheet. We save it. Okay. So we just need to make sure the code it has no error. So we compile again. It's success. Now we have installed the Bower components and installed the breakpoint sas in our project. And then I want to test this Bower sorry i want to test this breakpoint sas to my project so i want to change the background color about this navbar blue to red when when the device is small okay so we go to sublime and we select the class is uh, primary nav so include breakpoint and when the device is 200 pixel and this is a uh, main dash width and this is max dash width okay so we have the 200 pixel about the device and the maximal device is 300 so i want to change the background to that okay we save it and we try to refresh and preview so we need to we need to uh, make the device too small okay it's not working so we can check it to style.css and the the koala will compile the koala has compiled your style.scss to style.css and you can see this is we include the breakpoint and then we convert to media min width and max width like this okay so i want to change the min width to 400 and the max is 600 we save it and refresh so you can see when the device is max width uh, 600 the background will or will to red will change the color to red and when the device is 400 the the navbar is change the color to red okay so more than 600 to change by the default is blue you can see okay so in another sample i want to make this menu hidden when device is small so i go to menu nav and include the breakpoint so i want to make the space include the breakpoint and i setting the device is uh, 
and the max is okay so I create the display none we save and preview you can see the main menu has gone when we setting to 350 okay so we need to increase again to 500 okay it's gone you can see that it's easy okay and I want to make the logo to be center when the device is like this so we just need copy and paste and make the margin left to 50 sorry to 40 percent okay it's not working mm, import done okay so we need to decrease to 36 okay it's uh, center it's easy yes of course so congratulations you have to learn about breakpoint sus to help you to create a beautiful responsive web design okay guys i hope you can understand about the video and if you have a question about the breakpoint please let me know and don't forget to subscribe my channel in youtube angga rizky so next to meet you from indonesia Goodbye!